what is going on world so today we're here to talk about what's in my camera bag for 2020 so this isn't all my gear these are just two bags slash case that i always carry with me at all times and if i need other stuff then i'll bring other gear but here we have the 10 bus cinelux 21 uh, backpack which is my favorite favorite camera bag so to start off where i have in the side pouch is the field world uh lut 7 monitor which i'm using as a field monitor it's a great monitor but i feel like it's too big for my rig so honestly i have this as a directus monitor or if people want to see while we're shooting i will put it up on a c stand where they can watch this here we have my pocket 4k rig which i also have a video of this build although i do have a little additions that i've added to this like the nucleus nano um, i got rid of the small rig v mount and opted for the one that i have that has um, 3d tap ports I'm mounted in the front we have the polar pro base camp map box that i have a two to five uh, variable nd filter listen i'm telling you guys right now which you know this is what i film with and it's the makey um 25 millimeter and i also have the 12 millimeter and these are my go-to lenses for everything i'm definitely going to be adding uh more lenses as they keep coming out with more here we have on the side pouch hdmi cables uh, extra short hdmi cable that i um, connect to my monitor that i have on my rig um, i like to keep it you know as minimal compact as much as i can i don't want wires dangling or anything like that in this pouch that comes with the tenba we do have um, some accessories whether it be you know um, l keys screws we also have this little pelican case for the sd cards which is great and then um the reason why i carry the alternative pelican which you can also check up here um i'll provide the link um so you can check out which is it's a lot cheaper than the pelican case um and honestly like for me it's very durable so i ended up inserting this pelican um divider which helps me tremendously all right, so these are the Sony headphones. They're the MDR7506. Um, I love these headphones because not only are they not expensive, I believe I got this for $98. They sound great for um, monitoring and their studio monitoring um, headphones. Um, so I feel like you can't go wrong with this. I'm sure there's other better um, alternatives but for 98 bucks, you're gonna get yourself something that's gonna be great, sounds great, especially for interviews. Gaffer's tape is a freaking must. If you don't have these kind of tape, uh, what are you even doing? We have my little blower, that way if you have like, you know, dust on your lens or on the on the ND filters or whatever, or whatever, you know, you just blow it off. In this little Ziploc bag, I do keep my rechargeable batteries. Um, I highly recommend rechargeable uh, batteries. That way you're not always out there wasting, you know, your money on batteries. And once they go bad, you got to toss them out. For my microphone, which is the one that we're using right here, I put this in the frame so you guys could check out. This is the Dady, um S Mic 2S and S standing for short. If you're doing a lot of indoor work, you're gonna want a short microphone. If you're doing more of the outdoor work, then you're gonna want the bigger version. But for me, I'm using this more often in indoor environment and rarely outdoor, which could still be usable. And then to connect to that, I have the Zoom H4n Pro. Uh, this is the black version. I know the silver version is discontinued, but this is a great handy recorder. And, um, you know, it has two XLR inputs that, you know, you could attach to this. If you need something more, then you're gonna wanna look at other stuff. But for me, this thing is perfect. All right, next up, we have the Rode Link Lavalier. Uh, this is the transmitter and the receiver. The lavalier mics are awesome. Um, and it's good to have a lavalier mic hooked up and also a boom mic where that way, if you need backup audio or if one of them fails, then 
you have at least two to choose from so definitely a safety thing so then we have the sony style uh batteries which we're all familiar with whether it be monitors or uh wireless uh, transmitters these things are perfect um so i do have four of these i know i need to get more but so far um they last me on all day shoots if you guys are interested in all my gear um please leave a comment down below and that way i can do a video talking about like literally everything from gimbals to drone to lights and everything that i own um that way you you guys can get an idea again everything that i'm talking about right now will be in the description down below um, my name is jeffrey lopez if you're new to this channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button please and thank you if you like this video go ahead and give me a thumbs up until next time guys Peace.